My name is Maureen Namgal and I'm a country project manager for World Coffee Research in Uganda. This video, produced by World Coffee Research, is part of a five-part series supporting the Uganda Coffee Development Authority's Clonorobasta Coffee Nursery Manual for establishment of coffee nurseries. Did you know that one of the biggest investments coffee farmers make occurs when planting new plants? It is essential that the coffee grower ensures that all the seedlings he or she is planting are of selected variety and that each one has the best possible physical and phytosanitary quality so that it reaches the greatest production potential. For this reason, operators of coffee nurseries must ensure the health and vigor of their material as well as their genetic purity. Clono coffee nurseries provide a steady and suitable supply of improved disease-free planting material to support the planting and replanting of coffee farms. Maintaining the genetics of the mother plant in the future generation assures long-term sustainability. This can only be achieved through a rigorous breeding program, effective clonal propagation practices, and prepared nurseries. The first decision of establishing a successful nursery is choosing the site. It should be easily accessible, located on a well-drained, gentle sloping land and with a permanent water source. A number of facilities and amenities must be available at the site for establishing a clonal coffee nursery. In this image, you can see the main areas that need to be in any established nursery. All of them are important and have their own function. Water is essential for good growth of the plantlets. It should be the first component established at any coffee nursery site. An appropriate reliable water source, such as rain harvested water, wells, springs, boreholes and dams, should be put in place. The use of chemically treated water should be avoided in any propagation process. Working shed. This is the sheltered area for holding potting materials. It is also the area for preparation and mixing of potting media that will fill pots prior to planting of the harvested cuttings. Rooting shed. This is a holding area for clonal cuttings that have been placed in the polypots and or propagation bins. The size of the rooting shed depends on the plant production capacity. Ensure good, clean hygiene in the rooting shed. Hardening shed. This is a special facility used to gradually acclimatize the plantlets to the conditions of the external environment prior to moving plantlets out for planting. The size of the hardening shed depends on the plant production capacity. Demonstration plot. A clonal coffee demonstration plot is essential and used by the nursery owner primarily to demonstrate and showcase the performance and management practices recommended for clonal robusta coffee varieties under production. Mother garden. The mother garden is the source of coffee multiplication materials for the nursery. It is a special plot of land on which the parent plants are grown, which will act as a continuous source for shoots that will be cloned to generate rooted plants. To learn more about the establishment of clonal coffee nurseries, you can consult the clonal robusta coffee nursery manual from UCDA. Remember, it is important to invest in the right varieties. Investing in the wrong variety or in plants that are sick or not vigorous enough can lead to years of low productivity, pest affectation, and therefore low economic profitability. <laughs>